60 yards. Today's the 30th of August and I've got my daughter's dog up here with me. Uh, but I've been working almost 100% on just trying to stay as relaxed as I can during the shot and, and really focusing on my bow hand because it seems like when I create tension in my grip then that just transfers through the whole shot. So if I can keep my, my bow hand relaxed it seems like my shooting gets a lot better too. So we'll take a couple shots here then we got some more projects on the farm. A lot of creaking and cracking going on. Kind of punched that third one, but should be pretty good. I mean, my practices have been getting better. It's just a little bit more nerve wracking when you're trying to show everybody on the video blog. Sometimes my shots aren't quite as perfect, but I think that's a pretty decent group. Then we'll run down to the house and I'll show you where the, the project is at, the lifetime project. This was that third one. I knew I'd punched it, uh, but the other two were good. And, you know, I've got another month. I want to keep closing it down. Hopefully I can get where I can shoot all of them within that small circle. That's my goal. Lifetime project, day 762. This is what we got done in about the last 10 days uh, back on the back side of the house here. This one won't be too bad. Um, just down to me now, our son is off to college, but there'll be a big circle out in the middle. You can buy a kit for that, so that'll go in really quick. And I gotta make all the cuts on all the pavers to go around that. But um, So yeah, this is what I do. If I'm not in my office or out on the farm, I'm down here. Hey, if any of you guys are actual landscaping contractors, send me an email because it seemed like a good idea when we decided to do this at the time. But you know, you, you, you might find yourself a job. Real Trees Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Cuddy Back, America's Best Bowstrings, Drake Non Typical, Easton Arrows, Frigid Forage, Fuse, Grizzly Coolers, Hoyt, and Real Tree. For this next segment, I'm gonna create one of these rub posts that Owen talks about all the time on his video blogs. The spot that I'm standing next to is one of those, one of two locations where I think I can possibly get into that big heavy eight pointer that Drake filmed during the earlier part of August. And uh, that right now I think is my number one buck. That's not to say that once I get the trail cameras out here in about a week, that I won't change my mind and find a few others that I'm gonna you know, be put higher on the list, but this is gonna be a spot to target that deer and then in the, about a half a mile away where Drake actually filmed him is gonna be the other spot where I'm gonna uh, try to pick him up. But one thing about this little field, unfortunately, is it's small, but it's just big enough that the deer can make detours and not come past the stand. So I'm gonna put one of these rub scrape posts out here that will give them something to zero in on and uh, hopefully create that perfect 20 yard shot where the deer that their bucks that are moving through here, it gives them uh, you know, a reason to come closer and, and uh, you know, give me that easier shot. So that's the project here. I've got to clean up around the stand a little bit too. I've got the, the Hoyman uh, electric pole saw. I'm gonna pull it out and do a little cleanup work, but there's an open gate right where I'm standing in about a one acre field in front of me. And the deer bed, pretty much all around this small field. And then they stage here before they pass through this open gate and head out into the larger ag fields. So I'm gonna do the final cleanup work around this tree stand that I can leave it alone until early October. And hopefully when I come back here again, uh, we'll be hunting for that big eight pointer. about 20 yards from the tree in a pretty good spot here, pretty open spot. 
I'm just going to dig this thing down about two feet. I picked a shingle oak branch because I, I know that they hold their leaves pretty well. I think that's the main thing. I don't think it matters otherwise. I think you just want to get something that holds the leaves for uh, obviously until the end of the fall would be best. We've had a lot of rain. You can see all the subsoil moisture. It's really nice. You can also see some of the dirt that I'm working with here. Yellow. Next, I'm going to clean up around this tree stand, and I've got a redneck blind in the next little field over. It's a project that probably every couple of years you have to do, get out and um, cut the branches that have grown into your shooting lanes and that sort of thing. So this is the perfect tool for that. Uh, I, got, I think I got this two or three years ago. I use it a ton. I use it in the yard. Uh, I use it for all kinds of activities, all kinds of tasks. I've got some extensions for it, but the Hoyman saw like I said, it's one of the one of the best investments that I've made. I wanted to show you this spot quick. I took the RTP drill and came in here and drilled some big and beastie right into this, uh, it's in soybeans, this food plot is. The beans were pretty thin, but you can see how the big and beastie is really starting to jump and grow. That worked really good because as you can see, it really didn't affect the beans either. So it's kind of a, a cool option is just to be able to drill right into the beans, you know, clear into the late season. This should be a good spot for me. Uh, not too far from uh, where that uh, big eight pointer was showing up last year. So potentially he could be here too. That wraps up my projects for today. Uh, that was just two of my spots and I've got I don't know how many more that we've got to get to before the season. Clean them up, uh, get those shooting lanes open back up, check the tree stands. Any stands that I left out we need to look them over really good to make sure they're still safe. That's super important that you do that every year. Replace those safe lines if they've been in there for a couple of years and then just check everything over really well. Well I appreciate you joining me. I uh, should be back within a few more days there's a lot starting to happen now. It's really, you know, every day it seems like we've got uh, projects on the farm, trying to get the trail cameras going, that sort of thing. So uh, should be a lot of content to bring you here uh, starting within the next week or so. So keep checking back. I appreciate it.